Mm -mm -mm. Who is this? Um. Oh, that must be the Patriot. Oh. I'm gonna take all your stuff. Give it. Give me all of it. I want all your stuff. Might as well take it all. Everything. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Delicious. Delicious. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. Yeah. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. We're super, super duper smart. Trinity? What's that? Trinity is an encryption system with a cipher or key cut up into many pieces. You need several pieces in the correct order to unlock it. I put a Trinity piece with every synth I helped escape. It was a long shot, but I was hoping some good Samaritan would connect it all together. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that <laughs> off. No. Wow. Your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad's in the business of helping synths, too. That makes us friends. What? The railroad? As in the railroad? Yeah. I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. Why are you helping synths? At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. It was a challenge, you, you know? <laughs> but then I no. realized the synths are really just like us, except without any freedom. I decided to help the ones that wanted to escape so they can have a better life. How did you help synths escape? Through hacking. The departments focus their best talents on hard science. Why waste time on terminal security, right? <laughs> the SRB is the exception. And unfortunately, they control which synths go to the surface. But a forged work order from let's say bioscience can get a hand-picked synth on surface detail and it turns out the railroad was waiting for them wow if you met them trust me you wouldn't be that impressed Ooh, that was they've eluded nice. the SRB for decades they've got to be incredible with you in the picture I have this idea to rescue a lot of synths at once but we'll need help where's he working now right let's go to the west atrium Probably best to talk about something else right now. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. Give me all your things. I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. <laughs> doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help. You know? I do know, but I'm, I'm stealing all your stuff right now. Okay. Where'd you go? Uh, la la la, la la la, la la la, do 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 do. Mm -hmm -hmm. Good, he's here. Is C he? C-114, it's me. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, Z-1, he's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous, and you bring a stranger. You, how do I know we can trust you? Um, fighting for you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I find that hard to believe. Dang. That's what the railroad does, Z1. He's from the surface. If you insist we speak in front of him, do so quickly. Right now. How many synths want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed by the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Bum, bum, bum. Um, I need to put on better clothes. Um. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No. Um. No. Mm, 
probably a sexy cute dress I think that might be what I yeah put on my cute dress and my trilby hat All right, Liam. Liam, just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah, a head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You mm. need help, right? I can't do this alone. Sure. What do you need help with? Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. Where would I find that? Unfortunately, I don't know. The obvious place won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Done and done. Okay. Hey, Z1. Do you require anything? Fine, whatever. All right, let's finish this first. Um, mm -hmm, there's the infirmary. I know you achieve great things here. We all do. The protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. Yeah. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. When the lights go down and the stars come out, man just forgets about all his troubles. Hello? Doc. Welcome. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you'll come to think of the Institute as your home. Maybe. What do you do here? Oh, I'm in charge of housing and provisions. It's my mission to ensure that everyone lives a comfortable and productive life. You should productive. know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Whatever. All right. Bye. Operating at full capacity. Can I turn off the interferometer? Robotics need to knock some heads together. What now? They're dragging their feet on the targeting Always be vigilant. Ways I ask. We have Maybe I should enemies. take some courses with me. Send a message. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? Maybe. Let's get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. The directorate should take the synth escapes more seriously. Excuse me. I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. <laughs> we need to be able to collaborate with the other divisions, and that's a lot harder when they're always angry at us. What's Justin doing that's causing friction? Oh, he's just pushy and demanding. He thinks his problem should be everyone's biggest concern. I have to admit, though, the other divisions have never taken our needs as seriously as they should. I guess they see us as a necessary evil or something. It's really not fair. Sure, oh, buddy. Just listen to me. It's the first chance we've had to get acquainted, and all I want to do is complain. In any case, it was good to meet you. Uh, I don't know if Dr. I was done talking to you. I know it'll be a difficult adjustment for you, but try to remember that synths aren't people. Ooh. Ugh, brother. What's that? Oh. Uh, anything else? Tweezers, sensors. All right. Um, where else can we go in here? Ooh, what's in here? Oh no, that's the out. I think. No, it's not. Wait. Ooh. Oh. Boo. All right. Um. All this must be a little overwhelming for you. No, not really. What are you doing? 
Uh, hey. Richard, take this me, Hello. Hello. So you see any suspicious synth activity? Report it immediately. Whatever. Doctor. So, here you are. Yes. Finale, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. Acting. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Maybe. Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. Yeah! You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions. You don't need to do that. It's nothing personal. I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Synth escapes? Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Because they have wants? Our main instrument <laughs> is the Courser. A third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this since you've encountered one already. I've encountered fact, a few. I'd very much like to know how you defeated them. Bruh, why are you so close? Uh, combat experience? I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough robots. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. Uh, acting head? If you're the acting head of the ESRB, who are you filling in for? Dr. Zimmer holds that position. He's supervising the retrieval of some of the more high profile units in his absence back in dc running smooth. <laughs> i'm not done Dr. talking Ayo. to you yes what is it you mentioned that coursers undergo special training tell me more about it the srb what constantly is monitors our gen 3 synth population looking for specific traits those who show tenacity fearlessness and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen we teach them armed and unarmed combat, investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped <laughs> and return to their former duties. Bruh. Justin. Yes? What do you need? More information. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. Bruh. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Bruh. That's not cool. Okay, so now I can fast travel to and from the Institute. Report, sir. Let's go ahead. Whatever. Let's go ahead, since we can do it. Um, we need to travel back to... Oh, ha, ha. Well, I'm so thought. Uh, let's go ahead and travel back to Railroad HQ. She's in back. Does she now? Okay. Let's go see what Pam wants real quick. We got a lot of synths in play right now. Makes things uh, what do you need, Pam? What do you need, Pam? Oh, no. 
Uh, that's not where Pam is. Where's Pam? Hey, Nick. Glad you signed on. I can never remember where Pam is. Is this where Pam is? Pam! Confirming presence of rogue variable. Dispensing data. There are three independent reports of Corsair activity. Analysis completed based on target's activity pattern, location, and suspected trajectory. Conclusion. The Institute is actively looking for railroad assets. Duh. Stop gap solution. Terminate Corsair threats whenever possible. Uh, and risk my cover? Wouldn't killing the Corsair blow my cover? Two facts. Fact one, if rogue variable leaves no survivors, chance of undercover mission being compromised is 1.3%. Railroad Alpha has deemed this an acceptable level of risk to preserve the current railroad organization construct. Fact two, only agents of designated subclass heavy capable of eliminating coarser threat. Um... Speak more clearly. Just tell me what you want in English, Pam. Processing. Clarification commencing. Target designated Corsair Alpha is in a defended location with lower generation synth targets. Eliminate Corsair variable, leaving no survivors. End of discussion. Ooh. <laughs> Variable removal. Uh, we might just do that, but first we need to talk to... Desmona! Oh, thank God. Woo! See, Des, I told you the molecular stabilization makes it sound. Funny. You didn't sound certain yesterday. Yeah. It is really, really good to see you. Did it work? Did you make it inside the Institute? Uh, I found my son. I met with the leader of the Institute. And it turns out he's my son. What? Wasn't he just a little boy? After they took him from me, they froze me in cryo. Instead of being on ice for a few years, it's a few decades instead. Mm. The Institute's really done a number on you. Besides meeting your boy, did you meet Patriot too? Did Tom's holotape work? I met Patriot. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job. <laughs> We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. Uh, all right. Enter Sorry. the report. Sorry, Tom's got me doing something. Um, boop. Uh, enter institute report. Hold all. No, it wasn't a certainty. Thankfully, the signal interceptor worked. When I materialized, I found myself in an empty room. Z114 can get the 13 cents in place, but in, in order for them to make it to the teleporter, Patriot needs the username and password for V1 of CIT's code defender. End report. <laughs> Please consult with Pam immediately. Um, am. Preliminary analysis complete. Yes. Anything we need to move on. Affirmative. Code name Patriot requires admin credentials for code defender security software. Cross indexing CIT security administrators with 2077 Commonwealth Census records. Filtering by surviving structures. Oh, Pam is so good. Wilfred. Bergman, Wilfred, registered as co-owner of Cambridge Polymer Labs. Estimated 81% chance of login credentials being located at this facility. Cambridge Polymer? What's at Cambridge Polymer? Cambridge Polymer Labs, LLC, had several active military contracts specializing in robotics. The region is currently classified as <laughs> extremely dangerous. Great. After you get the password report back here. With any luck, we'll have a game plan by then. Sweet. Okay, so... 
Um, what we need to do, I think, out. I think what we're gonna do is um, head over to Virgil. We need to give him the thing from his office. And then, where's he out? It's been so long. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then, um, we can go try and, uh, uh, find that password that we need. Because. Is that Fudge? Hello? Because, you know. As much as I spent all this time looking for my my son, fudge that guy. Fudge him. Um, ouch, please. All right, let's head to Virgil.